As Socrates said, I cannot teach anybody anything. I can only make them think. So what are we going to cover during this course? Well, module one talks about becoming a trainer. We'll talk about trainer's responsibilities, what previous experience you might have or not have, and potential areas of growth. Module two talks about the adult learner, how to use motivators for participation, stages of learning, and also some learning theory, learning how to train with the preferred senses. We'll have a quick look at brain research and learning styles. We'll talk about Gardner's eight different intelligences. Talk about accelerated learning and how to implement that. And how do we learn as adults? We'll talk about learning characteristics as well as the forgetting curve. When module three, we talk all about trainer's impact. So what is personal impact? We'll talk about how to build rapport, how to do state management. We'll talk about the trainer's state which is hugely important. We'll talk about sensory acuity as well as body language for ourselves as well as noticing what's going on in our audience. We'll talk about the three principles of a great handshake. We'll talk about eye contact and using your eyes and your voice appropriately. We'll talk about body posture, making an entrance, KAV sequencing. We'll talk about metaphors and how to deliver those as well as 25 tips for masterful training. We'll also talk about tips to get rid of your fears and staying unpredictable and interesting. Module four is about training analysis. So analyzing the training requirements of your potential learners and defining learning objectives. Module five is creating the course outline. So drafting a course outline, we'll talk about the Disney strategy and how that's been taken from NLP and how you can utilize that within your training design. We'll talk about writing lesson plans, your opening and closing, as well as different training methods, whether we do classroom training. And I'll also give you an example of a course agenda. In module six, we'll talk about some learning materials, how to create your own learning materials, which textbooks to use if you do use, how to use visual aids, of course, providing feedback. We'll talk about evaluation, both evaluation of evaluating the learners as well as the training evaluation form. And I'll give you an example of a learner's log. Module seven is about the training delivery. We will look at the format system. We'll look at satire categories and how to use your stance, your body language, etc., to give you the most positive impact on your audience. We'll talk about some alternative ideas for delivering training, as well as dealing with questions and answers. We'll actually look at seven categories of productive questions. We'll talk about the training room setup, as well as, you know, excellence requires proper planning. And so it's not just about walking into the training room and thinking that a training is going to go most excellently. We've got to prepare for that training. And how do we do that? Module eight is dealing with difficult situations. So potential barriers to learning, how to deal with challenging situations and different types of clients. We also talk about test anxiety and how you can help your learners overcome that. So these are just some of the things we're going to cover during this course and why you might want to take this course.